Also developing here at 5 o'clock at any moment, a judge is expected to rule on a restraining order that would allow vaping stores in Massachusetts to reopen immediately. And this is the first time a judge has been asked to rule on Governor Baker's emergency ban. WBZ's Beth Germano is live in Medford with more on this story tonight. Beth? Well, Vic's vape shop here in Medford was hoping they might be able to reopen their doors, but today a federal judge indicated she was not persuaded they've been irreparably harmed by the temporary ban on their product. Now, in Massachusetts, we're still waiting at this hour for the judge to make her final ruling on the temporary restraining order, but it is not looking good. I have a family. I have to worry about my wife and my son. Jeffrey Vick becomes emotional outside federal court. As a judge indicates, she's leaning toward denying a temporary restraining order to put the immediate brakes on a four-month ban of vaping products he sells inside his Medford store. I feel like here, here in the United States, if you're going to do something to someone, you have to have proof. Vic is among the plaintiffs blaming black market products for vaping related illnesses. But the state argues since it's not clear what's making people sick, a temporary ban is needed. There needs to be a body of evidence uh, saying that this is causing this harmful illness. And right now, they don't know what the this is. Their store has been in business for three years, and they say they've lost thousands in the last week. A federal judge argued they can still sell outside Massachusetts to make revenue, but they point to a letter from the state denying that. We have no online sales because in the state of Massachusetts, when we first opened the shop, we were told it is illegal to sell online. Yeah. So we never opened an online store. Yes, I've been back to cigarettes now for about a week and feel terrible. An admission from a customer they believe makes the ban even dangerous. They've been granted a hearing in two weeks for a preliminary injunction, but they worry by then it might be too late. It's not like we're making, you know, a million dollars a year in profit to survive. We're making enough to live. Now, five family run Massachusetts businesses and the vaping industry have both filed suit. While we wait for the final ruling from the judge, they do at least have that hearing on October 15th. Reporting live from Medford, I'm Beth Germano, WBC News.